Hey guys, with my new computer, I thought it was high time to review some of my security stuff. I made a video, an embarrassing video, about my previous security setup. And um, I've been experimenting with NKFS, a fuse type uh, layered uh, encryption solution. And finally, I've gone with looks on my new laptop. And um, I'm going to show you a video of, uh, of both experiences. And then I'm going to tell you um, why I prefer one over the other. Hey guys, let's start with how to do it the right way. So this is my Lenovo 24060S and I'm running boot CTL. Sorry the fonts are a little bit small. I do have a dual boot setup and I'll link to that. And I'm using the patch kernel and if I press E I can see what my boot parameters are. So uh, what, what happens here is that there's this very long UUID to identify my, hard, my block ID of my hard drive and um, from that point on there's a root thing that that addresses my cryptid root so that's um, passed on to initramfs which sort of un, um, basically if I press enter now it will boot uh, Linux and initramfs sorry and it will then pass, prompt me for the password from sort of unlocking my root file system and at this point I put in my password and the whole f file system is unencrypted and boots up and it boots up uh, to a prompt to, un uh, to unlock my SSH key and that's it and the most important reason is um, to do all this is to, to protect my, my browser's sort of saved passwords which are all in Chrome um, so yeah, that sh my, sh my machine should be sort of thief proof. The only thing that worries me is that, um, okay, if I put this into suspend, come on, suspend. It's not susp I guess maybe it's not suspending because I have HDMI plugged in to make the screencast, but I'm quite reliant on Slock not messing up. So if Slock is not properly working then yeah my unlocked file system is kind of um, kind of pointless but anyway this is where I'm at when it comes to security and such all right so this is the old way that I was using uh, the good way the good thing about this or the appealing thing for me is that you, you didn't have to re redo the whole uh, partitioning if you know what I mean with um, the crypt tab so I'm using my existing ext4 root, um, just uh, unlocking my SSH key, and at the, and then I created a, a file, and um, well, I'm just demonstrating here that nothing works until I mount my crypt thing. So with Incaface, you just create an encrypted sort of file and you mount that to a directory and then you put all your secure stuff in there but there's lots of problems with that like what do you put inside that um, crypt directory and uh, it becomes a real pain and uh, you, you end up ultimately putting everything inside there and that's what Lux does and that's why I prefer the previous uh, method or the method I'm using now actually is just Lux um, I also try to demonstrate that I think NKFS takes actually more processing power than Lux does, but um, I couldn't really prove it on the video for you guys. So the big reason why I'm encrypting my file system is that, um, well, I had my SSH sort of encrypted with a, with a password. I had like my account uh, file encrypted with Vim, but the big outstanding thing was that my my Chrome sort of dot config or whatever, all the saved passwords from browsing on the internet were not um, sort of encrypted. So that if anyone gained access to my file system, and um, they could basically surf a lot of websites and uh, and 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 run a mock. So now that um, well with NKFS, I I. I did try to just encrypt that sort of .config directory or .cache directory. It didn't work. It, it was a pain. And now with looks, um, it's a lot more manageable. I don't have to think about uh, all the f which files I need to put encrypt or not. Um, 
the whole partition is encrypted and I think looks is the way to go and um, I hope you guys agree with me. The next big outstanding security issue I've yet to solve is how to update my SSH key on a lot of machines. So, uh, you know, key rotation is important, isn't it? And do you rotate your SSH key? Hmm, I thought not. I thought not. Uh, unless, unless you, if you do, um, I would love to know how you do it because I haven't figured out how to do it.